Yeah, uh, that was, uh, you know, obviously a big play for us. You know, our whole thing going into this game is, you know, we got to come out fast. And the biggest thing was being able to respond, being able to answer. And that was the time where, you know, they hit us for a big play. And I think it showed, you know, some of the progress this team has made, you know, instead of getting down and saying, you know, oh, here we go again. You know, we got it together and we responded. It was similar to the Michigan game in a way. I mean, that, that game you were shut out and you came back in the second half. Well, yeah. What did, did it feel like that one play was a spark today or what sort of allowed you to get going a little bit offensively? I think it's just, you know, the attitude that we had as an offense. You know, we never got too down on ourselves. Uh, you know, we obviously have the mentality that we want to score every time we touch the ball, but it, it doesn't always work out like that. So I think I would attribute that just to the offense, just staying in it and, you know, keeping our heads up and, and working. Adrian shared a little more about his injuries today. What can you say about his toughness? Yeah, uh, he's one of the toughest players that, you know, I've ever played with. Um, one of the best leaders, you know, I just told him, you know, I'll go to bat for you every day. I always have your back, you know, no matter what. And I mean that. Frost said, and Nader talked a little bit about the fact that he had a fractured jaw at that Michigan State game. What does it say about a guy to make the decision to play through that? Yeah, you know, it shows that he's tough and he's a, he's a leader on this team. Not a lot of players will uh, fracture their jaw and miss one drive and then come back and lead the team almost to a victory. Um, not many players can do that, and especially not many quarterbacks. So uh, that's something that you know gained a lot of respect uh, from me. Um, you know, just just sticking with it. Uh, you know, allowing the the quarterback to get through his reads. You know, you know, you're not gonna. It's not gonna be every game. You know, where you have opportunities like that. But I just try to make the most of my opportunities. Uh, you know, last week I had a, had a tough one that I feel like that's a play I could have made and could have made a difference in the game. But you know, I didn't want to. You know, let that sit over my head. I wanted to bounce back, and I did that. Back in the spring, you said at one point as you got going here, you were surprised things hadn't gone better mm -hmm. here based on what you saw. Yeah. Obviously, you've been really close a lot this time. Yeah. Are you still surprised that, that it's, so many um, things have gone OK for you this year and you're 3 and 7? Yeah, definitely. You know, that's obviously not, this isn't the record that we planned. And like you said, we've had plenty of opportunities to, you know, our, to make this whole season, you know, flip that instead of 3 and 7, 7 and 3. Could could have been that easy. but. You know, we just have to, you know, make the plays when it matters and uh, just finish games. And I think, you know, we're making progress, but clearly we're not quite there yet. I apologize if you're asking. Did you give any feedback to your coaches after they decided to kick that field goal instead of going for fourth down? <laughs> Uh, no, no, I didn't give him any feedback on that. You know, that's, that's the head coach's call and I'm going to roll with it.